Hi Cancer, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your January 2017 monthly tarot forecast. This is for Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon, and Cancer Rising signs. Cancer, for this reading I am using the Crystal Visions Tarot deck along with the, the Keepers of Light Oracle cards by Kyle Gray. And then I'm also going to be pulling you an additional Romance Angel card by Doreen Virtue. And as always, if you are looking for additional guidance aside from the monthly and weekly tarot forecast that I offer here on my channel, please head over to either Facebook or Instagram and follow me there because I do draw and upload a daily Oracle Guidance card every single day, Cancer. And if you are interested in a private reading, please head over to my website. I have it listed below in the description bar and read about how I offer my private readings. Right now, for a limited time only, I am offering the 2017 yearly readings. All right, Cancer. So at the bottom of the deck, I have the King of Pentacles. Okay. And this is the overall energy, Cancer, for the month. So... I see many of you may be very focused on your finances. Uh, you could be moving up within the company that you work for or trying uh, to get a raise or a promotion or something like that. Very, very focused on maybe your financial stability, Cancer. Uh, also, I see many of you, no matter if you're male or female, very, very practical and grounded in the month of January. Uh, for, for a very small number of you, there could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn individual that's very significant throughout the month of January. And this could be a male or female. Now, right at the center, this is energy that you're, you're dealing with right at the start of January. For some of you, maybe the end of December, I do have the Three of Wands crossed by the Three of Cups. So we have two threes here. So... For some of you, you very well could be dealing with a situation, dealing with three people, and that doesn't necessarily have to be a love triangle. The Three of Cups can represent friendship. So for some of you, this is maybe something to do with your friends. There could be some sort of situation going on with three people. The Three of Wands is expansion and growth. Threes really speak of expansion and growth. So there could be something taking root for some of you. Uh, this could even be like a relationship relationship that is is beginning here and it very well could be with a friend with the three of cups for other for other cancers i think that there's there's some sort of new beginning here that you're trying to manifest and i do feel like it's definitely career related or something financial uh, for some of you maybe you're starting a business or something like that but there's something that you're trying to get off the ground cancer and the Three of Cups can be that celebratory energy, you feeling like you want to celebrate something, feeling quite successful. So for some of you, uh, this could be you wanting to celebrate something or uh, something could have literally just taken root, something literally could have just started and either your friends could have something to do with it or this is you maybe going out and wanting to celebrate whatever this is. Now we have the King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck and then we also have the King of Cups here. So this very well could be your sign or your energy, excuse me, no matter if you're male or female because you are a water sign. Uh, and this is you maybe listening to your intuition with the King of Cups here at the foundation. This energy has brought you to this energy here. So you could have been highly, highly intuitive previously, uh, maybe following your heart or listening to your intuition when it comes to a particular matter. Um, also, you could have been very focused on matters of the heart here. Uh, I do feel like for some of you, you possibly could be starting a relationship with a friend. A, a friend could, or even friends, there could be possible suitors here. But I think that in particular, um, something could be, get, be beginning here. Something could be taking root. Uh, so maybe for some of you, even getting to know someone uh, on, a, on a little bit uh, of a deeper level here. Now... In the recent past, we do have justice. So this is quite interesting. So we have justice. And this could have been a decision that was very, very significant. For some cancers, you could have absolutely um, maybe gotten a divorce here. So that could be why we have this energy here with, with the threes. So this could have been you 
uh, for some of you, maybe getting a divorce. There could have been some sort of um, legalities that are were su significant in the recent past. Uh, this also can represent the sign of Libra. So there could have been a Libra individual that was quite significant in the recent past. Also, this could have been you making a decision with justice here. You could have made a decision uh, for some for some cancers. And it very well could have something to do with this Ace of Pentacles. Because crowning you, this is what's on your mind, we have the Ace of Pentacles. So this is a solid new beginning that's going to add more stability or more security to your life in some way. So... For some of you, this is maybe, uh, this could have been like a legal uh, settlement or something like that that has come through for you uh, that is maybe allowing for things to grow and expand within your life. And this could be you wanting to celebrate that, um, this victory, this legal victory for some cancers. Um, this also could be a new home. For some of you, you could be moving in with friends or you could be moving to a new home with the Ace of Pentacles here. Uh, very seldom I do see the Ace of Pentacles come up in regards to a relationship. And it's often when someone is getting into a relationship with an Earth sign person. So there could be some Cancers that are maybe getting into a relationship with an Earth sign person. Or this is a relationship that potentially could lead to marriage or add a great deal of stability to your life in some way. So for some of you, it very well could be a relationship as well. Now, coming up uh, in the near future, and this is going to be around the second week, I do have the Four of Swords here, which this can be for some Cancers. This can be you absolutely taking a break. You could be taking some time off of work, or you could just be spending a lot of time alone. You could be healing. You could be recharging your batteries. Uh, so for some of you around the second week, I absolutely see you maybe taking a break or taking some time off. Um, for a very, very small number of you, this could have been like a legal separation. Um, uh, with that being said, if, if you are legally separated, um, there could be a friend that is coming into the picture with this energy here uh, for a very small number of you. But this is, this is a wonderful energy. Yes, for some of you, you could be spending time alone. For others, you could be taking a break off of, of, of work. You could be going on vacation. Uh, you could simply be recharging your batteries. Now, in the position of your power, I have the Nine of Pentacles. So this is, for me, very much a single independent energy. So I think that some of you could have literally gotten divorced or maybe this is like a legal separation and now perhaps um, you're very much on your own. But with that being said, I see you in a very good place and I don't see you like emotionally distraught. I don't actually have any negative energies here in this in the spread. It's a beautiful spread. So with that being said, if that's the case, you know, I see you healing from that. I see you maybe even celebrating this, this separation or this divorce. Uh, but this is you in a really, really good place, Cancer. The Nine of Pentacles is... Uh, having that financial stability, uh, this is living comfortably, having more than enough to splurge on yourself and then splurge on others. So this is just being in a really, really good place financially. Uh, for some Cancers, you very well could even be like a business owner. This Ace of Pentacles could be you manifesting um, something within your life and maybe it's a, it's a new business or maybe you're moving to a new home here. Now, in the position of how those around you are viewing you, I do have the lover's card. Very interesting. So we have the lover's card here, which can represent a decision, a head or heart decision. So again, there could be, you know, some cancers that you're making a decision because this is how people are viewing you. So very much uh, needing to make a decision or absolutely making a decision around the third week of the month. Uh, for others, this could be a relationship that's very significant. If you are a partnered cancer and you're not going through any difficulties or anything like that, as a matter of fact, with justice here in the recent past, you literally could have just got married. This is you and your partner maybe moving to a new home or maybe you're going on vacation. This could be like you going on your honeymoon here. And around the third week, if you're a partnered cancer, this could be a lot of um, passionate energy here. So uh, if you are a partnered cancer and maybe you just got married, this could be a very passionate time here around the third week. Um, 
and the hopes and fears. Very interesting how we have the lover's card here and now we have the two of cups. So this is in the hopes and fears position. So I definitely see you partnered cancers in a really, really good place. Definitely um, a very passionate month for you, but also connecting more on an emotional level as well. Maybe taking your relationship to the next level for some of you. Maybe you got married with justice here. Um, and with the Two of Cups here, uh, maybe you're hoping to see your partner more. Maybe you're hoping to spend more time with your partner uh, with the Two of Cups in the, in the hopes and fears position. Uh, there could be, you know, a very small number of cancers that maybe you've met someone. You could have literally ended one relationship or maybe, um, you know, you're, you, you're going through a divorce, but you could have met someone. There's definitely that potential here for some of you. You could have absolutely met another person. Um, again, that could be why we have this, this three energy here so there could be a situation involving three people and it could be because you're still attached and you're waiting for that maybe divorce to be final and you know maybe you're hoping to spend more time with with this maybe new person that you met cancer now you're leaving the month of january and going into february with death here so for some of you, this is exactly what you wanted. I think that for some of you, you're you're ending a relationship. Maybe you're getting into another relationship here because death is great change. And it's often something ending so something else can begin. Uh, you need to make that, that space within your life, Cancer. So with death, there's always a new beginning. It also represents great change and transformation. So something ending the way that it once was, it's no more. It's transforming to something something new. So for some of you, um, even if you were going through some, some difficulties within a relationship with the Four of Swords, you could have taken a break from your partner. And with death here, the relationship now at the end of January could absolutely be transforming for the better. You know, for all of you, it's going to resonate differently. For some of you, I see you ending a relationship and then meeting someone else. And then for others, I think that if you've had difficulties, maybe taking a break around the second week is, is the best thing possible because maybe Maybe you realize how much you want to be with that person down the road and that brings about this great change here because we have change coming through. Death is a very powerful energy here. Uh, if In regards to career and finances here, for some of you with justice, you could have signed a contract. This could have been you landing a new job. Uh, this is, you know, things in your life now progressing and moving forward. For some of you, maybe you've gone out, you've celebrated this success because we have the Ace of Pentacles crowning you. Um, there could be a little bit of a waiting period with the Four of Swords here around the second week. But then, you know, things are really going to work out for you. Financially, I see you in a really good place. And if this is you maybe waiting to start that new job, this with death here could absolutely be you starting that new job. So financially, I think it's going to be a wonderful month for you, Cancer. I think that many of you are going to relate to this on the relationship front. Uh, overall, I think it's going to be a great month for you. There's a lot happening. It's very positive, though. I see a lot of healing energy around you. And it's a great month to be social and to get out and, ba out and about and spend time with, with friends or family. All right, so I have a bunch of cards that flipped out, but only one flipped over, so that's the one that I want. And then I am going to pull you a Romance Angel Oracle card. Additional guidance for cancer in regards to love and relationships for January 2017. What does cancer need to know? There we go. Very nice. Look at this. Okay. So the overall, uh, overall, excuse me, a, a guidance for the month of January cancer is we have Master Jesus, forgiveness. You are on the path of light, love, and forgiveness. Father healing is possible at this time. So forgiveness. Forgiveness is the additional guidance for you, Cancer, in the month of January. For some of you, you very well could be taking a break from a partner. Um, but then you absolutely could be reconciling here. Forgiveness is very significant. For others, you are on the path of light, love, and forgiveness. Father healing could be possible at this time. So there's a lot of healing that's going on. Past hurts, healing. You forgiving so you can move on. 
this is what's going to be very very important for you cancer in the month of January and then in regards to love and relationships I do have passion that came out beautiful allow your heart and soul to sing with joy so for those coupled um, Cancerians that maybe you just got married maybe you just moved in with your partner this could have been you signing a lease here uh, I see it being a wonderful month for you an extremely passionate month for you uh, connecting with your partner yes on that uh, physical level but also on a very deep emotional level as well so it's going to be a very passionate month for you so overall cancer as you can see it's going to be a wonderful month for you forgiveness is, is going to be very very important um, so yeah cancer I do hope that you have a wonderful month of January take care